Hi there guys, it's been a long time since I made a video. I'm sorry about that, but let's get started. Today I'm going to discuss one of the most important plays in the Elizabethan era. Actually, it's one of the most important plays in the entire history of drama. The, the tragical history of Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe. I'm not gonna get into the entire story of Dr. Faustus and what happened, but I'm gonna give you just a simple hint about what happened to him. He was a doctor, um, he had a PhD in um, theology and he was not satisfied with what he was studying. So he decided to, to change his major. So he became a magician. And to do that, he gave his soul to the devil, specifically to Lucifer. The story is a famous one, so you can check it out on the internet. I'm not gonna get into that point. What I'm gonna discuss today is something that is mentioned in the prologue of the uh, play. Actually, it's an illusion. An illusion is what when you mention something related somehow to the story that is mentioned in the book. I mean, the story of Dr. Faustus and his uh, downfall to hell, um, this doom um, of Dr. Faustus is referred to with another story happened in an entirely different time, which is in the Greek mythology, the myth of Icarus. The myth of Icarus is a very famous one. It's There are many, many videos made about this story of, of Icarus. He was um, um, a young man. He and his father were banished from um, an island that they were living in and um, he was imprisoned on a tower uh, on, on an island so uh, his father Daedalus get an idea of how to escape that prison and the escape plan was to make wings um, that were attached by wax the plan was to fly um, in a moderate height not to get too close to the sun because if he gets too close to the sun, the wax will melt and he will fall down. What happened to Icarus is, he tried to reach beyond his limits. He was not satisfied with what he had. He went closer to the sun, so the wax melted and he fell down. One of the uh, morals of the story is, men should not go beyond their limits. Um, and the second one should listen to the advices of the other people, especially people with a lot of experience in life. How is this story related to the story of Faustus? Icarus went beyond his limits because he wanted more than what he should ask for. He wanted to be a godlike. He was an overreacher. And that was the same case with Faustus. He was not satisfied with what he had of knowledge. He wanted to break these limits and to be a magician, to control everything, as he says, to be more powerful than emperors and kings, to be able to raise people from death and to make them live forever if he wants, to be able to do absolutely everything. And that's not something that people should ask for. That's how the story of Icarus related to the story of Faustus. Icarus went beyond his limits and so did Faustus. And Icarus fell down because of the melting of the wax from the wings and Faustus went down to his doom by signing a contract with the devils to be a magician by giving his soul to them. That was it for today. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to like it and share it with your friends if you feel that it's beneficial to make us continue doing more and more videos. My next video is going to be about the selective understanding in Dr. Fosses. Um, I'm not gonna reveal anymore. Um, stay tuned and goodbye.